Hey, John, yeah, the tournament kicking off tonight with preliminary action and a doubleheader of double A quarterfinal play in Gorham this evening. Rivals going at it. Number six, Scarborough at number three, Gorham. Rams won the regular season matchups. Let's go to the end of the game. Red Storm pounding it inside. D'Angelo Alston, the bucket. Scarborough up two, looking for the upset. Tied under a minute to play. Gabe Michaud goes to work with the dribble moves. Gets to the hoop, the tough reverse. Gorham goes up two. Under two seconds left. Alston went to the line, makes both free throws. We go to overtime. In overtime, Alston wants it, gets it, finishes and one. He had 22. Scarborough would tie it up. Red Storm go up two. Blake Harris in traffic. 56-54, Red Storm up. 20 seconds left. Ashton LeClaire, the tough three. It's good. Gorham goes up one. Red Storm, final chance. Nate Glidden, 1.8 seconds left. Off glass for the game winner. Scarborough goes up one. Gorham had a chance for the bucket off the inbounds, but it's picked off. 59-58, the Red Storm can celebrate. They move on with the upset win they face the South Portland Sanford winner in the AA semifinals. All right, number five, Bonnie Eagle at number three, Gorm in the girls. Quarterfinal match over at Gorm tonight. Rams moving the ball. Ellie Gay to Kaylin Curtis for the nice bucket. Bonnie Eagle showing some nice passing to Sophia Godano to Caitlin Bartash. We're tied after one. Bartash had 13. This time it's Gay getting it for Gorham. The strong drive, Gorham by two, entering the fourth. They stretch the lead. The Scots needing to press, and Curtis breaks it, hitting Gay to clinch it. She had 14. 41-29, Gorham the win. They'll face the number two seed, Sanford, in the semifinals. All right, on the last night of the regular season, Lake Region, their boys team, needed a wild ending win at Cape to even get into the tournament. Tonight, the same schools meeting up in the B-South prelims over at Cape Elizabeth again. Capers coming in the 8th seed, Lake Region the 9th seed. Lakers came out like the top seed. On fire, Jackson Libby the jumper. Then Libby working baseline. Lake Region opens the game on a 13-2 run. Here comes Cape though, Owen Ty. Check out the effort on the glass. One, two, three, four for a dollar and one. He had a game high 17. Then Sam Lombardo, the nice dish to Andrew Trakaminowitz for three. Cape turning things around. Then they turn up the D, Trekaminowitz, the steal to James Rickman for the finish. Cape Elizabeth rolls from there after a tough start. They win 61 to 42. They move on. They get a tough matchup at top seeded Oceanside on Saturday in the B quarterfinals. All right, the Class C girls prelims on tap tonight in Hallwell. Halldale began its quest to defend its state championship in Class C. The defending state champ Bulldogs, the number four seed, hosting Dirigo. Emily Woods, the foul line J for Dirigo, the 14 seed, hanging around early on. But the Bulldogs pull away. Tori Tibbetts drives baseline and sticks the J. KJ Greenhall with the inside move on the putback and one. Bulldogs go up 25. Greenhall had 14. Bulldogs showing off their depth tonight. Amanda Trepanier to Rita Benoit for the J, and then Greenhall to Trepanier for the Lamb. 71 39 Hall. They'll Hayden Medore led the way with 17. All right, fifth seeded Richmond hosting 12 seed Mount Abram. Roadrunners were thinking upset. Balea Haynes hits the long two from the wing. Izzy Stewart doing all she can for the Bobcats. The fast break finish. She had 14. Then she gives it up to Jaden Brilliant for the basket off the inbounds. Stewart also starring on the defensive end. Love the defense. The rejection at the paint. Richmond trailed in the third but rallied. Lilla Vaselli, the floater. And Richmond with the 54-41 win. The Bobcats play Halldale in the quarters. Six-seeded Monmouth Academy hosting 11th seed Sockopee Valley. Monmouth in transition. Holly Hunt to Riley Chase for the jumper. It's good. Mustangs up eight in the third. Falcons sticking around. Bridget Landry takes it to the hoop for two. But the other way for Monmouth, Hunt to Caitlin Frost for the three, part of an 8-0 run that turned this thing around. And Monmouth goes on for the 44-32 win. They'll face Kent's Hill in the quarterfinals. Seventh-seeded Winthrop hosting 10th seed Trape Academy. Rambler is up nine to start the fourth, but the Rangers rally. Emmy Hale for the hoop and the foul. She had 16. Then Hannah Thorson in transition. Rangers would cut the lead to three. Other way, Madeline Wagner working inside off glass. Ramblers go up 39 to 34. Trey with the answer. Thorson to Lily Stewart. The lead down to one, and they later would take the lead looking for the road upset. Under two minutes left, Wagner to Morgan Fitchhorn. 
Ramblers have the lead. And Fitchhorn with the game tied with a minute to go. With two free throws for the lead. She had 23. Winthrop 44-41. They'll face Old Orchard Beach in the quarterfinals. All right, NBA action tonight. The Celtics.